Hi, I'm Simon Thompson from the University of Kent and I'm here to welcome you to the mini MOOC on Functional Programming in Erlang. What we're going to do in this mini MOOC is take you through, from the start, how to write functional programs in Erlang. That will include understanding pattern matching, understanding how recursion is used to traverse data structures and to, to build loops, and also we'll learn about how we represent more complex data in Erlang using immutable data structures, which of course you've, you've seen are becoming more popular in all sorts of different programming languages. And also we look at how functions are themselves data. Functions can be passed as arguments to other functions or returned as results of functions. And using those, we can write some really nice, really cool, very general functions that um, are independent of particular behavior. So for example, we can write a function that will run along a list and transform each element in the list in a particular way, irrespective of the particular transformation or the type of elements in the list. So we'll do all that. The means we'll use to do that is we'll have a number of online lectures like this one, videos. Um, most will have projector slides as well. We'll have copies of the slides there, there'll also be other materials you can use, and there'll be things that you'll need to do yourselves. There'll be quizzes to uh, follow up from particular lectures, and then there'll be homeworks where we'll expect you to write some programs for yourselves. Also, the way the, mo the module works is we want you to contribute. We hope that you'll work with each other on the course to help each other to find solutions, help commenting on the different solutions that you found to problems and so on. There will be a teaching assistant around as well, but his job is really to keep, to keep the course moving on. It's not to answer all your questions. We hope that you'll be able to answer those questions yourselves. Okay, so that's really, um, that's really the shape of it. It's a course about functional programming in Erlang. It's a, um, you've heard about what the, the course looks like. What we'll do next is talk a bit about where Erlang comes from, um, why it was designed, and why it's so effective in practice doing what it does. Okay, so thanks very much, and let's move on to the next lecture.